So OnLive is games on demand. What we've done is make it so that you can use an entry-level PC, entry-level Macintosh, just with a one megabyte plug into your browser, or a very inexpensive OnLive micro console that you hook up to your TV. You just hook it up to your broadband connection, five megabit connection if you want HDTV, a one and a half megabit connection for standard definition. Then you can play any game instantly, and you can play the highest performance games, and best of all, they are current release titles, the same titles that are available in the same retail window uh, in retail. So the way we do this is we actually have the games running in the cloud, that is, we have games running in our server center that uh, have very, very high performance computers in it, and then using special technology, we stream the video from those uh, game servers to your home and make them appear on your TV screen or on your computer screen so fast that from the point you hit a button on the controller to the point where you see the screen update is a perceptually instantaneous. OnLive offers uh, up to 720p60, which would be 1280 by 720 at 60 frames a second, and down to standard definition TV resolution, which would be the same resolution as a Wii. You know, one of the biggest things that's different about OnLive is massive spectating. You can go and look at anybody playing a game, and they can look at you. I mean, you can look at you know, dozens or hundreds of people at once in little thumbnails, and you can go and zoom in and so on. And that's all tied into the way the community is set up. We're running simultaneous digital video recording on every single video game that's running, which means you can do recording, and also as many as literally a million people can be watching one super great gamer at once. There'll be an achievement system, and uh, there'll be you know leaderboards. There'll be um, you know leagues and clans. You know all these kinds of things will be woven into what we're doing. But the thing again, there'll be kind of difference about it. If, if you get it, have an achievement, you know you achieve some really really cool thing. We don't just kind of have your name up there, but rather we can have like a video of when you cross the finish line in that big race, if what you're doing is a racing game or whatever the cool thing is. The service will have. Um, um, well, first of all, it'll work with any PC standard controller that you know you plug into a USB port, including you know a wireless controller that has a USB receiver, and that will work with PCs, Macs, and also with the micro console by plugging into the, the micro console's USB ports in the front. Um, but if you want to use wireless with the micro console, then we do have a uh, an OnLive only uh, wireless controller, and that wireless controller is is pretty as a standard controller layout, but it also has some cool buttons so you can do pause, rewind, record, that kind of stuff to work with all the video features. So we've spoken to most of the major ISPs uh, before we announced because we wanted to get their feedback. OnLive is extremely well behaved from the point of view of an ISP. And the biggest problem they've had are peer-to-peer -peer systems because of the, the, the upload bandwidth you know, that they, they kind of consume. Because you know, you look at your connection, you have a lot of downstream bandwidth and not so much upstream and peer-to-peer -peer, unfortunately uses a ton of upstream. We use a trickle of upstream bandwidth. Almost all of our bandwidth is downstream. Not only that, but unlike a download, which is a constant thick stream using as much bandwidth as there is, OnLive varies. It's, if, you, if you actually look at the bandwidth, it, it bumps up and down. When we say we need a four megabit connection for, um, for HDTV, the average connection speed you need if you're doing something active is about two megabits a second. And you know, if you're kind of just checking out leaderboards or friends or something like that, you're probably running in the hundreds of k bits a second. So, from an ISP, you know, that's, that's not such, that's pretty good behavior because it lets email through during the times when you're not at peak. We're never going, we're never exceeding the bandwidth of the channel, and we're using a trickle upstream. So, when we talked to the ISPs, rather than freaking out, they said, "Oh, cool, maybe people will upgrade from my lowest speed, you know, service to my higher speed service." Our overall power consumption is very, very low. In fact, it, if you consider the power consumption to play a game compared to say a console or a PC in your home versus using a micro console and a server in the OnLive server center, our overall power consumption is vastly lower, which is kind of a neat green statement. You know, literally that micro console runs on a USB power supply. So uh, you know, it's using less power than the Wii does in standby mode. OnLive is a very, very green technology.